I'm testing 8K 2FPS video with the Ricoh Theta X. I have a short piece of threaded rod at the bottom of the camera. Oftentimes at construction sites, people will place this on a hard hat and walk around the building. 8K 2FPS video is designed for frame extraction. After walking around a construction site or a hiking trail, the frames are automatically extracted from the video and converted into still images. The still images are then placed into a virtual tour. This demonstration automatically extracts the frames using the open source software FFmpeg. Using this free software FFmpeg, you can see that the extraction was very fast. Uh, it's a short clip, but it's still quite fast. And I now have a bunch of still images in a subfolder on my local Windows computer. The subfolder is called frames. And so within this frames subdirectory, I could inspect the still images or push it up to a virtual tour. First, what I'll do is I'll use the official Rico Theta desktop application and open up the individual image files. So at this point, it's no longer a video. These are separate image files and they can be viewed and navigated within the Rico Theta desktop application. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking on the lower right hand arrow to cycle between the different images on my local Windows computer. This step is just to test the images and make sure that they look reasonable before I upload them onto my virtual tour. For the virtual tour, I'm gonna to use the free software, Marzipano. Uh, it's a web-based free service. And I'm just gonna drag some of the images from my local Windows computer onto this web-based tool, Marzipano. And it's gonna upload the images and then I'll be able to export it and download it back to my computer. After that, I'll upload it to a free uh, website that I, I can use to uh, store the tour. Because Marzipano is free software, there might be a couple more steps than with uh, one of the many commercial software virtual tour uh, services out there. Again, this is, I'm just using Marzipano because uh, it's free, and I'm also going to use a free uh, hosting service. Again, this is not the easiest workflow. This is just one that I'm using because it's free, and I'm a frugal guy. Uh, if you're a professional, you probably want to use a paid service or some other service here. So what I did is I extracted the files. It's a zipped archive, so I right-clicked, extracted it. Then I'm actually storing it in Git. I'm going to push it up to GitHub. Uh, GitHub is free, although there's several steps you do need to go through in order to get it onto GitHub. I'll just quickly show you how to use GitHub Pages, uh, which is their free web uh, website for GitHub. I'm, I've started on the main branch on the root of my project. Using Marzipano, you can link the individual spheres together with the type of arrows, which you've probably seen in a lot of these virtual tours. I intentionally did not do that just to keep the workflow simple. Uh, this is just a demonstration of a potential workflow, right? Because I think if you're using a commercial software, um, it has a nice interface. You just load up all the images. And the main part is I just want to see the loading of the images. Also wanted to... Uh, give you a few tips on free community assets. I'm starting to organize um, some free community tools and media. So this site would require an email, but as soon as you pop in the email, you'll get immediate access. You know, there's no password or anything. We're just trying to um, put a some type of light gate on this thing so that we can gauge the popularity and then at least report back to Rico that you know some people have used our tools or our site. 
uh, we don't sell anything, uh, so no one's going to try to contact you to sell anything. Uh, we do receive sponsorship from Rico, and that is the primary reason we're trying to at least get some um, some gauge as to what's popular and what's not. Okay, so we also have the actual video file direct from the camera. Uh, you, you're going to need to download this. So look in the upper right-hand corner. Do you see where it has the download? Because the when you view it directly on Google Drive, it's only going to be 2K. And so if you actually want to see the full... 8k um, you have to download it and this is a free tool that you can use to set the 8k video at 10 fps 5 fps or 2 fps and it's another reason that i wanted to put a little bit of a gate at least require registration because um, it's not official software from rico i don't i don't want it to be uh, out too widely because we just use it primarily for developer testing, but at the current time, you can't really set the 8K video. I don't think you can with the Rico official mobile app or the desktop app. So thought I would make this available uh, to people as long as they know that it's just for developer testing, right? It's not supposed to be um, that public software. So once you download it and install it on your Windows machine, you will need to connect from the Windows machine to the camera with Wi-Fi. This is not a USB connection. This is a Wi-Fi connection. But once you've connected it with Wi-Fi, you can then set the 8K 2FPS video. If you have any questions, uh, just drop us a note in the form. And remember that this is just a testing tool.